Hi people, before we start, please let me remind you to subscribe my channel. It is for free, no money, unbelievable. There should be a button down here, uh, there, no, here, there, I don't remember, somewhere. Today I'll be test the Tascam US2X2 HR or 2x2 HR as you like, and I'll compare some of its features with the Zoom H4N Pro. Very robust, not broken. Hope it's gonna work. <laughs> To show the task is plug and play, the test will run connecting the audio interface to a MacBook, an iPhone and an iPad. Tascam is an iconic brand that built recorders used for some very famous song of the 80s and 70s. So Zoom is becoming more important now for producing portable and field recorders, probably due to the growing number of video makers. Everybody makes videos now. Me too. The first thing that I noticed, even if made for sitting in studio, the US2x2HR is very sturdy and robust. The zoom looks robust as well, but it's plastic anyway. I'll be happy to see in the future maybe a structural review with metal edges. It could weight more, but it could give an impact-proof feature that a portable device needs. We haven't seen many technologic improvements in the audio interfaces market the last five years. Portable recorders instead are in the middle of a revolution and some of cutting edge solutions come from these devices. I might be wrong, but an audio interface in three years won't lose the value that the portable recorders will lose. My personal opinion, and I'm usually very bad at predictions. Both Ascam and Zoom are compatible with Mac and Windows computer and no driver is required. Tascam is also compatible with iOS devices but it needs a lightning to USB camera adapter. I suggest to avoid cheaper and not official because I came across a fake adapter that no work more than once. The power provided from an iOS device won't be enough so you need to buy a power supplier or battery pack 5V to 1A. For Android device you find the same kind of adapter and this should work but officially Tascam doesn't support an Android device. Interestingly the Zoom H4n hasn't been detected from any of my iOS devices. The Tascam has a control panel that you can download from their website, but on my OS 6 Mojave there's no way to change the bitrate and sample frequencing, so there's no point for this control panel and you can simply set up the sampling frequency and the bitrate on your Cubase, Logic, Fruity Loops, Ableton, whatever you use. Differences. The Tascam is a 2 in 2 out audio interface and it also has a MIDI in and MIDI out. The Zoom doesn't have any MIDI connector. The Zoom has two microphones on board and can record up to four tracks at the same time. The Tascam doesn't have any recording capabilities. It's an audio interface and needs a computer and mobile devices for recording. I started my test recording a very quiet audio source. I raised the preamp gain to the top on both Zoom and Tascam. With this test you cannot hear an evident difference between the two recordings. I initially planned to use a condenser shotgun microphone, a Sennheiser MKH416 and a dynamic microphone, the Shure SM57, but I soon figured out the Shure SM57 had a noise. I swapped the SM57 with a newer one, but it was still there, so I understood that the noise was due to a small solar panel at the base of the toy soldier. The disturb was present on both recording on Zoom and Tascam. You can hear it clearly when I move the soldier above the microphone.
so I decided to skip recording with the SM57. Soldier, we gonna test a different audio source. You're discharged from the mission. Not a big difference, though. Afterwards, with the same audio source, I switched back to the SM57, and with this microphone, you can actually hear the difference between the two recordings. Strangely, I noticed that pushing the input level up to the top, it returned a recording with no more than minus 6 dB on the Tascam. Hmm. With H4n, I pushed the input level up to the top and I could reach 0 dB. Usually, in digital domain, recording should be between minus 18 and minus 12, so just for let you know, I don't see this is like an issue. For the Tascam scientific accurate test, please check Julian Krauss' YouTube channel. He's very good at testing audio interface. From his test, the Tascam seems to be an audio interface with much less noise than the average. So, why this comparison? Why this comparison? Why this comparison? Why this comparison? In case you're looking for a studio solution for recording with less noise, you're happy with two-channel input. Uh, maybe you're a sound designer and you can benefit to use 192 kHz sampling frequency. You should go for the Tascam US2x2HR. Instead, if you are looking for a portable solution, maybe with some compromise between quality and flexibility, you need for channel input, microphone on boards, you should go for the Zoom H4n. I don't like cheap solutions, but these are better than the average. See you next time. Bye.